Hey there beer lovers, sorry there's no actually no beer today. Today we are doing Grind Espresso Shots Coffee Rum. Alright, so it's a coffee rum. Uh, it's got a good coffee look to it. I don't expect it to be you know, super black. It smells like a chocolate cookie. Although, yeah, yeah. It's got a nice thick uh, pop syrup kind of appear to it. It's got good it's legs. Good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got a, it says coffee, it looks like coffee. Yeah. So, as far as appearance goes, I'm giving it a five. Maybe it's just because we're in a hard liquor mode, but yeah. five yeah, it it's is. Five. No, definitely gets, you it's, know, like... It's gonna get at least a seven, I guess, because I can smell the alcohol in it, which, if you're ever drinking something with liquor in it and you can't taste the alcohol, don't drink it. It's a good point. Yeah. It's got a, a really good coffee smell. I'd say it's 70-30. Right? Yeah. That, that whiskey, I'm sorry, rum. That lick of burn smell is there where you're like, yes. This like is, you can this tell is this liquor. is gonna burn right from the smell alone. Probably not burn, but you're gonna feel mm -hmm. the alcohol taste in your mouth. So I think for the smell, I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. A, it's appeasing uh, and warning at the same time. I'm gonna give it a full. Uh, how do you say eight? Gotta get the okay. entire state for this. So one. a lot of people don't know this, but when you drink a bourbon or a whiskey, you're actually supposed to exhale out completely before you take the shot and take it with empty lungs. Mm. That will stop that, that quivering or that blowback, if you will, of the alcohol taste. <laughs> it's got a more of a dessert kind of coffee flavor. Like this is something that would go well with ice cream. Oh, um, you know what? You put your Bailey's cheesecake, Irish yeah. cream. I think the taste is gonna get a nine. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna give it a 10. Are you? Yeah. It gives me the right amount of, mostly liquor taste with like that sweet is just enough to where it's like, I give it down and I don't feel, I still got like I still have a little bit of a mm, my head liquor in the back of my mouth without any of the negative that sometimes comes with it. You want full ten? All right, yeah. Palette, um, I got a nice burn. I got a nice blowback through the nose. It was it was good. I I could imagine drinking this and seeing other people do what I like to call the whiskey shakes. So, <laughs> yep. Mm. So I mean I get a good I get a good amount of that and I'm good with that. So my palate is actually gonna be a four. That's I could have wanted more burn. That's about the only complaint, but that's why the taste is so high. What are you thinking for drinkability? Oh, oh boy. 18. 18? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go high. I was gonna go with a 19, so I'm gonna usurp you by one. I would definitely buy this again. It was only 20 bucks for the bottle. Holy shit, bro. I gave it a 4.4, Rob gave it a 4.5. Do you like coffee? Do you like drinking? You will like drinking. One of the suggestions on how to drink this was an Irish coffee, which was two ounces, one and a half of the grind, and one and a half of Bailey's. Now, we didn't have Bailey's on hand, but we did have the Forbidden Secret Pumpkin Spice American Cream. And we're basic as shit, so we decided to do it. Yeah, so we're gonna rate these again, just yeah. for you guys. For appearance, now it is a pumpkin spice creamer, and it, it looks like coffee. I mean, it, it's supposed to be just Irish coffee. It generally looks like a pumpkin spice cappuccino. I it, like it. It it's looks still like has good legs. Would, Look I at would, that. Yeah. That still has good legs. I think it's got better legs because of the Irish uh, yeah. pumpkin spice Irish cream. I'm definitely enjoying the, the appearance. It's got good legs. I'm still going for it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a, a, a three because I saw it before it looked stirred up and it like literally <laughs> toiled and boiled like a goddamn pot of yeah. magic. For smell, it's definitely more alcoholic now. The coffee smell is gone, and I'm not smelling much of the pumpkin. I'm just really getting alcohol burn in my nose. I get that. There's like a spice, or like that chai, whatever, that's oh. happening in there. Like a six, that's where my heart's going, so mm. I guess six is it. Six is it? Is six? I followed the heart of my liver. <laughs> All right, now for taste. Oh, it's less boozy. But somehow more boozy. Yeah, I'd say there's higher alcohol content. I think the coffee flavor really gave away to the cream. It tasted more like a coffee I would drink in the morning that had liquor in it. Obviously, that just made it sound like I drink liquor all the time anyway when I said it that way. No, come on. Drink beer, guys. I enjoy it. I thoroughly do. Uh, I think my taste is going to be an 8. The palate is definitely heavier on the creamer flavor. There's no real bite to it. Like a soft chew out of crime, as opposed to a bite. I think my palate's going to be a 3. Yeah, not as palatable for you. It's just less impressive. I don't know, I'm still gonna give it a four. Are you? Once again, the drinkability, it, it, it tastes like a liquor coffee that you put too much cream in. It hasn't really changed. I in mean, fall. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a 17 because I'd want it more, I'd actually want it by itself more than I'd want it mixed. I'm gonna say 15, that's what I'm gonna say. So, Rob gave it a 3.6, I give it a four even. Decent alcohol. Um, 
I like the, the cream, I like the, the bourbon. Yeah, I recommend it. I recommend both. Yeah, I would drink it. Yeah. I did. So, as always, I'm uh, Ben the Beer Beer Whisperer. Wish you uh, Sorry, <laughs> that came up out of nowhere. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Morty, we got a video, Morty! <laughs> it's just not like that, Morty! <laughs> Hey there, hopheads. I just want to remind you that if you like this video, click that like button. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. And if you have a booze, a beer, a brewery, or cocktail you want us to talk about, go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comment section below. Transition. <laughs> the transition dance. Do the transition dance and shake in your pants. It's the dance that you dance when you have a manic depressive disorder and it makes you feel hyper and then you get really depressed afterwards. We're transitioning to the next shot now.